You're watching KOAT Action 7 News. The gloves came off when the two Democrat candidates for New Mexico Attorney General debated in our studio trying to gain your vote. Today, Target 7 looks into claims that came up about money. Here's John Cardinale. Yeah, hey, Ron. Last night, State Auditor Brian Colon and Bernalillo County District Attorney Raul Torres both fired shots at each other about where their campaign finances are coming from. And Target 7 has been tracking campaign finances and looked into claims made by both of the candidates. KOAT, along with our media partners at KKOB Radio and the Albuquerque Journal, hosted a debate for the Democratic candidates in the Attorney General's race ahead of the primary on June 7th. You've been a political prosecutor, Raul. That's pretty narrow experience. Well, the first thing, Brian, I would tell you is I've been inside of a courtroom. I actually know what I'm doing as an attorney. Both Democrat candidates, Bernalillo County District Attorney Raul Torres and State Auditor Brian Colon, accused the other of inappropriately taking campaign contributions money that would influence what they do. Target 7 has been following campaign finance money, and we looked into some of the claims using data we obtained from the Secretary of State. We have outsourced a number of cases to uh, big out-of-state law firms who are handing out massive contributions um, to the Attorney General's office. My opponent has taken nearly $175,000 in out-of-state contributions from these same law firms. So far, Cologne has brought in $1.4 million and 35% of his money comes from out-of-state. This is a list of all of Cologne's contributions from people who indicated they were attorneys outside of New Mexico. Their contributions total about $71,000. Target 7 cross-referenced them with the state's checkbook and could not find one that had done business with the AG. Now let's take a look at what Cologne said about Torres. My opponent here who thinks it's comfortable, appropriate, and ethical to take contributions from attorneys who currently have cases with your office, thousands of dollars. That's an ethical violation, period, hard stop. Torres has brought in about $1 million, and 26% of it comes from outside of the land of enchantment. We found these law firms donated about $20,000 to Torres. We did find one of those attorneys is a defense lawyer who has represented clients Torres has prosecuted. Whoever wins the Democratic nomination will have to take on Republican Jeremy Gay in the general election. I'm John Cardinelli reporting KOAT Action 7 News. John, thank you. That primary will happen June 7th.